Hi everyone, Amy Love here, and I finally found some time to just a play in my craft room. It's like all the Christmas presents are done and the cards are sent, and I had time to just create for the sake of being creative, and it was amazing. And so I started out with this Stamperia Winter Tales. This paper is gorgeous. I mean, look at this paper. And Kim, thank you, Kim. Kim gave this to me last year. And it's the first time that I've played with it. So I thought I would make some tags from, you know, the cutouts they have back here. Let me find. Where's, where have you left some of these bits? So I cut them out and I thought, well, I'll make some tags. Well, sure. What happens, what happens is, is you start making a simple tag and then all of a sudden, it's too, it's just too big. It's too big for a tag. So then this is what we ended up with. I, this was the first tag that I created and it's now a kilt pin wall hanging because I just got um, a little ridiculous, but that's, I love it really. So let me show you the gorgeous bits I used. Okay, that is the tag from the paper pad. And then uh, I used a kilt pin from Angel Dream Crafts. They're like the perfect size for wall hangings, right? Just perfect for it. And um, I started with a little piece of muslin as my backdrop. Then I added the lovely tool uh, pleated trim in the beige from Kim's shop. And then the um, pleated tool polka dot trim because don't you love it we all love it and then let's see there's so many great bits on here this is of uh, one of my favorite dangles of hers and I just added all of the little rhinestones to it so I've got a bit of it dangling off the side this is another one of her dangle trims that's absolutely gorgeous and uh, this, this little beautiful blue flower is made by one of her little trims. And then that is one of her gorgeous blings. And I just added a few embellishments I had in my stash. These are stickled flowers from the paper pad. And I had this piece in my stash. These gorgeous flowers are from her store. And then this is just an applique I had in my stash. And, um, I did add some rhinestone cup chain, but let's be honest, I covered it up. You can't even see it anymore. So that happens. What I like to do with the kilt pins is I add the straps before I put it on whatever I'm putting it on. That way I can leave the part that opens available to put beads on so that it's all pretty and decorated. So there was that. So once I got this, I was like, okay, obviously tags isn't what we're doing. So then I set off and I thought I'll make another kilt pin wall hanging. But then what happened was it just started to get too much for even that. So this is actually, I had these little easels <laughs> in my stash, not easels. You know what I'm trying to say. Canvas, little Lord have mercy. What are they called again? I don't know. Little canvas boards. So I made two uh, canvas board wall hangings. And of course, when this video is over, it'll come to me what they're really called. But you know what I'm trying to say? Little artist canvases. I don't know. Anyway, this is the beautiful tag um, that I used. And I used more of the polka dot tool because it's really amazing. Then I used more of the pleated tool, two layers of it in the white this time. And then this, okay, there's the top. And then here's the bottom is this applique, this amazing applique from Angel Dream Crafts that I love. So I cut it so that you could see the bottom here and the top here. That's what that is. And then here's another piece of it. I cut it out of it and put on top of the tag. These beautiful flowers are from her shop. Absolutely love them. I added rhinestone cup chain that you can see 
on this one and she has um, this in the store and I love rhinestone cup chain. And here is more of that dangle, that same dangle that's on the other one and I added more rhinestones to it. And then I put this beaded pearl dangle from my stash and I of course stickled it all up and I just think it's so pretty. It's so pretty. Oh, and then I have a bulb pin with one of these little charms from Angel Dream Crafts also because I thought it's so cute. So there's that one. And then I kind of made a companion piece to go with that so they can hang together because <laughs> I was just having a good time. So it's on another um, canvas board and it has uh, the pleated tool trim and then another pleated tool trim that I had in my stash. And then this uh, rhinestone lace trim that I absolutely adore. And look at this um, tag from the paper that I stickled up. Isn't he gorgeous? He's gorgeous. So here's a flower from the shop. More of the dangles. And this time I added some a white fringe trim to the dangles. Um, these rhinestone chains here actually are from a vintage necklace that I cut apart. And so I, I put this piece up here and then I cut the rest up and dangled it off the bottom. Super, super pretty. And I added this beaded bow from my stash. And actually behind here, let's see. This is another beaded applique from Kim's shop that's underneath the flower and the bow because I'm all about the dangles right the pearl dangles so that's where those come from it's actually um, the applique comes all the way up you can see it peeking through the back of that and I added another bulb pin and then I had uh, this amazing bling in my stash, stash that just kind of reminds me of like wintry ice and I thought it would be so beautiful on there so yay I got three lovely pieces I was so excited to get to play and I will have a link to uh, Kim's store below and I will also put a link to all of her designers her current designers so you can go and check them out they do amazing work and are constant inspiration for me and I know they will be for you too so I hope you all are enjoying your holiday season and that you find time to do things that bring you joy. And I will see you on the next one.